this in my mind Those thoughts are feeling endless Waking up I'm breathless Anxiety is infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking The yolk in this broken I can't move on till I let I feel so lost and you're at home in today's video, we'll be testing the latest update of Free Fire on our 10-year-old laptop. In the previous video, we tested BlueStacks 5 on the same laptop, and it received good support from your side. So, if you haven't watched that video, be sure to check it out after this one. I'll provide a link in the description. Now, many people may leave the video here and go to test the emulator. Let me clarify one thing right now. There is a 110% chance of encountering errors in this emulator. That's why I recommend watching the entire video, because if an error occurs, I'll also explain how to fix it in this video. So, let's start the video. Before we dive into the installation process, let me show you my PC specs so that all your doubts are clear. As you can see, my PC has only 2 GB of RAM and a 2.40 GHz processor. Now, let's take a look at the graphics card. Here, you can see that my PC has a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card, which isn't very capable. Let's move on to the installation process. You can find the download link for this emulator in the description below. Download it from there. As for the size, it's 295 MB. Let's proceed with the installation. It will take 5 to 10 minutes for the installation. So, let's wait for a bit. After the installation is complete, you need to close it and open the task manager. Here, you should end all unnecessary background processes. Now, let's launch it to see if it works or not. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a 110% chance of encountering errors in this emulator. Let's move on to fixing this error. First, close the emulator. Then, right-click on the emulator and go to its properties. Next, go to the Compatibility tab, select Windows 7, check the option below, click Apply, and relaunch the emulator. So, our emulator has successfully launched. You may notice a bit of lag here. It's because I'm using a screen recorder causing this lag. The emulator has launched successfully, but now it's time to install Free Fire immediately. Our Free Fire has been successfully installed. Now, let's test it. If this emulator is causing issues for you, or if you encounter errors during Free Fire installation, I recommend trying any other lightweight Android emulator. You can click on the playlist on the left to try another lightweight emulator, or if you're not interested in Android emulation and want to install a complete low-end Android operating system, click on this playlist. I'll see you there. Goodbye.